Hello and welcome to the lecture series on economics of growth and development. In the previous lectures, we have seen the pre-independence poverty estimation in the Indian context. And in today's class, I'll be talking about the post-independence poverty estimation in the Indian context. So timely, the government of India had created certain groups, expert groups, as well as certain committees to look at poverty estimation in India post-independence period. And there were certain committees which were constituted to look at the poverty estimation and I'm going to talk about them in brief and then move to two important committees which talk about poverty line estimation in India post-independence. So first let us look at the different committees which were constituted by government of India since 1960s up until 2012. So here this uh, figure is giving you a sense of which were the different committees which were constituted post-independence to look at the poverty estimation in India. And the first committee was Planning Commission's expert group which was constituted in 1962. Thereafter, we have a committee by V. M. Dandekar and N. Rath in 1971. Thereafter, we move towards something called as the Alak Committee which was constituted in 1979 to look at poverty estimation in India. Thereafter, we have the Lakdawala Committee or Lakdawala Group Method wherein you had poverty estimation done in the 1993. Thereafter, we have a very famous committee under the chairmanship of Tendulkar, which is also called as the Tendulkar Committee in 2009. And thereafter, we have an equally important committee, which is chaired by C. Rangarajan, and the committee is called as C. Rangarajan Committee in 2012. So these are different committees which are constituted in the post-independence period to look at something called as poverty in the Indian context. Now today I'll be talking about these two that is the Planning Commission's expert group in 1962 and then V. M. Dandekar and N. Rath's idea of poverty in the 1971. So let us look at what the Planning Commission expert group has for us. So this group was constituted by the Planning Commission to look uh, to look at poverty estimation in India and this group gave separate estimates or se separate poverty line estimates for both urban as well as rural parts of the con uh, country and therefore this is if you look at it this was the first separate poverty line estimation post independence period for both rural as well as urban areas in the country and for rural areas if you look at it it was rupees 20 per capita per year and for urban it was tw rupees 25 per capita per year so this is how the planning commission expert group which was constituted in 1962 looked at poverty lines separately for both the rural parts of the country as well as the urban parts of the country so i hope the idea of this is pretty much clear let us now move to the next group which is the V.M. Dandekar and N. Rath group which, which talked about poverty estimation in the Indian context in 1971. So now V.M. Dandekar and N. Rath in 1971 gave their estimates and they made first systematic assessment of poverty in India using what? Using the National Sample Survey Organization data or NSS data. So this is the first ever group which has talked about the poverty estimation in, in terms of the NSS data which is available. So this is uh, the National Sample Survey Organization works under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation and collects data with respect to consumption expenditure on different commodities. And the same data was used by Dandekar and Rath to look at poverty estimation in post-independence India. So what they did is they did not use now this method, the Dandekar and Rath method did not use subsistence living or the basic minimum needs as a criteria to look at poverty estimation. Rather, they considered that poverty line must be derived from expenditure, which is or that was made or which was adequate or enough to provide double to five zero calories per day both in rural as well as urban areas. So now you can look at it that the previous measures were talking about subsistence living as well as basic minimum needs. If you uh, see my previous lectures when I was talking about poverty estimation in pre-independence India, these were the certain ways in which poverty was estimated. But Dandekar and Rath rejected that method and they introduced something called as the expenditure method which was enough or which was uh, which was sufficient to provide calories of two to five zero calories per person per day in both rural as well as urban areas. So this is again an important way in which you can look at poverty in the Indian context post independence. Now this calorie thing, uh, this instigated a debate in the Indian context with respect to what should be the magic figure for calorie intake per day. So this is how uh, the, the, the further uh, uh, revision of poverty line has taken place in the Indian context and we will see that with respect to the different committees which I have talked about when I started the lecture. So I hope the idea of both the planning commission expert group in 19 
1962 as well as the Dandekar and Rath estimates of 1971 is pretty much clear with this lecture. In the upcoming lectures, I'll be talking about the Alak committee, then the Lakdawala, Tendulkar and Rangarajan committee and give you also a sense of the comparison of um, the important ones at least in the Indian context. So please stay tuned. Thank you.